Hey everyone, welcome to another gear review. Today I've got a couple electroharmonics pedals with me, the B9 and the C9 organ machines. Little fun story. When I was doing a one-man band, um, which I still do, made that sound like it was so old, but um, the one-man band show that I do, it kind of developed over the years, I guess. It started with just a looper and acoustic guitar, and then I thought, well, hey, you know, if I can bring this acoustic, I can loop that and then play an electric guitar. So I started bringing an amp out, and then little by little pieces just kept coming in. What I ended up doing was saying, hmm, what else can bring in an extra layer of music? And, and truth be told, what happened was my wife and I, we kept having children, and the more children we would have, the more I would need to cut some of those paychecks out that I was paying all the band members. So I was like, you know what? There's got to be a way I can do this full band sound by myself. So. I actually didn't set out to be a one-man band. It just kind of took over when the children started coming in. Baby's got to eat. But what I found was any excuse to try to get another layer of an instrument in was super cool. And now, now I take out a synthesizer and, and I actually play an actual piano as a part of the one-man band. But before I had found out the ability to do that, this... B9 organ machine came on the market and I actually pre-ordered one. I found out they were coming out with it. I saw the advertisement for it and I thought, man, that's it. And the cool thing is now I don't use the B organ machine in the one man band as an effect. I use it as an actual organ layer. So uh, that's really what we're going to focus on today. But what I thought would be really interesting is if we were to pair the two machines we have here, the B9 and the C9, with some actual vintage organs, which I just happen to have. So we're going to look at uh, this B9 and C9 against a 1960 Hammond B3 organ, and we're going to look at them against the 1969 Yamaha YC30. So these are going to be the compact organ and then the tone wheel organ sounds. <laughs> So taking a look at the pedal, you can see straight up that there's a dry organ, mod, and click for both of them. Dry organ, mod, and click. The dry signal on both, we're going to kind of ignore that. What that does is that allows you to filter in your guitar sound. So if you're up at 12 o'clock with it, you're going to get half of the mix is going to be your natural guitar sound, and the other half is going to be this organ effect. Now we're going to go ahead and just take that out for now because that's not well here I'll let you hear what it sounds like we'll do it on the uh, the B9 here <laughs> You can still hear some of the guitar tone coming out of it. So what I'm going to do is take that dry all the way to the left and I'm going to take that organ for now all the way to the right on both of them because we want to hear this organ sound. And let me just tell you, there's a couple things you want to try to do if you're really going to try to emulate an organ. On the guitar okay so there's a couple things that guitar does that organ doesn't do for one we don't bend notes on organ so if you want to really convincingly sound like an organ player now that sounds really cool but it doesn't sound like an organ so if you want to use it as an effect pedal um, then that's cool but if you want to use it kind of like as a instrument modeler then you need to try to play convincingly uh, like an organ player would. Another thing is you don't want to do any slides. That doesn't sound like an organ. So the organ, you have to remember, you have to press a key down. So you can hammer on on the guitar and that sounds like an organ.
that does get you a good organ sound. But sliding is not going to be thing. And another thing you want to do is try to voice your chords like an organ player would. So an organ player is not going to play great big six note bar chords. Now you can do that, but it's much more convincing if you were to play flat seven, three, and five and hammer on that minor third to the major third. Very much an organ move. You also may want to consider a hybrid style because even if you pick, there's going to be a difference, a uh, slight difference, but there's going to be a timing difference in how quickly the notes are actually struck. So you don't hear that, you want to hear just one hit. So all three plucked at the same time. Okay, so let's take a look at the individual pedals here. Now that we know we're going to have the dry signal all the way out, um, let's start with the, uh, the B9 here. So this fat full setting is number one. Now that's going to emulate, if you know anything about a Hammond organ, and I'm going to show you in just a second, it's going to emulate draw bars out. Okay, so all the bars out. So when we're talking about full draw bars out, these things up here are called draw bars. All right, and they come on every Hammond organ, and they are basically different types of tone registers you can get. It's kind of like an overtone series. So, full draw bars is when, that's why people say things like, pulling out all the stops. These are the stops, pulling out all the stops. So if you pull all the draw bars out, you're gonna have all your low end and everything. It's gonna be really fat and full. So what you have with the mod button, I'm not really sure if they intended that to be the Leslie sound, but what it comes across more like is the, the vibrato tremolo button on the organ. So the upper left switches that'll, that'll do kind of like the, the vibrato sound, the chorus effect. That's what it comes across more like. I don't know if that's exactly what they were going for or not, but that's what it, that's what it achieves, I think, pretty successfully. And then the click. Now the click switch does different things for different pedals, I mean for different sound settings, but the click is generally supposed to be the amount of percussive attack. So the way that a Hammond has a percussion setting on the top right panel and you can see that it goes to seconds or thirds and you can do it soft or hard. The click on the Hammond is the percussion section. You hear that? Here's off. Here's on. So it has like a really nice percussive. So that's the, the click, 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 that little click percussive effect that comes at the beginning. You like that sound effect I made? Very professional. Okay, so fat and full is going to be a really nice big sound. And let's listen to that next to the, uh, to the Hammond organ here. see I mean it's a pretty good replication to come out of a guitar. Now I'm going to be using this Epiphone Les Paul with these P90s just gets a good sound and also it's important to note that this pedal is going to really um, it, it's a boost in your amplifier so you might want to be careful like when you go to use it I don't know if it's just how many overtones are coming out of this at one time I don't really know why but it definitely does spike the level of your volume so you need to be ready for that. Also, it is pickup sensitive and it responds different to different pickups. I'm leaving it right now 
in the center just so I can get kind of a, a middle of the road sound. I don't want it to really bite hard and I don't want it to be too fat and muddy so I'm just kind of leaving it in the middle. Um, when we go down, I'm not going to touch on every one of these because there would be a, a ton of sounds I could get. I just want to hit the high notes here. I really love, uh, number one is great on the, on the B9. I really love number three. It's going to be the gospel setting. <laughs> this, I'm going to turn that click all the way up, listen to the difference. Another really cool thing, and I forgot to mention this earlier, is you might want to consider the register of the Hammond when you go to play. Um, you know, this is not going to be on the organ. These, these. So it doesn't sound as good when you get up into that register because this thing is voiced to sound like an actual organ. So you might want to try to consider how to stay more in the actual parameters of the organ itself. You can hear how it sounds a lot more natural down there. Cool. Now another thing is going to be this bottom end setting on number five. This is going to be a really popular setting that a lot of guys use when they use the organ. It's the bottom two draw bars pulled out, not all the way, and then maybe maybe the next two pulled out. I'll show you that setting on the actual organ. Here's what it sounds like on the B9. So that's a really good setting on this. And then really cool is number seven here. Let me see one. Two. Yeah, number seven here. Now, I don't have a cathedral organ present, unfortunately. I'm fresh out of a massive stadium-like room to put a pipe organ in. But this is a really cool sound. Let's check this out. <laughs> Hang on, let me dial back the mod and the click on this all the way. Another really cool trick I used to do was to use this organ. Uh, if you can't be really loud at a gig, sometimes the sustain will die out kind of quick and it almost gives kind of like a, a noise gate kind of die, you know, where it's just like, man, that's not what I meant for it to do. It just kind of sucked the life out of it. If that's the case, I used to use a, um, a DD7 or a DD6 that had the, the the sustain thing where you could push down the, the pedal and hold the sustain and I would use that for this organ setting. It's really cool setting. Right now I'm plenty loud enough though and I'm getting good sustain so this is this is plenty fun. Yep. And then, so we're going to move on from the cathedral down to number eight, which is one of my favorites. And to do this, this is going to be the sound of the continental. That's the setting on it. And the continental, as you know, 
is the Vox Continental Organ that was made really popular in the mid and late 60s. House of the Rising Sun, um, lot, lots, of, lots of really great sounds. And there was that one little song, how does it go? So you can see this thing gets a pretty convincing Vox Continental sound. Very cool. Very, very cool thing to do. And it's also a nice little parlor trick when you're out playing. If you want to actually play the head to light my fire or something like that, people usually jump on it pretty quickly. Coming in lastly here is a nice bell organ sound. I'd like to let you hear that real quick. This is a really cool sound to put a little bit of click, a little bit of mod on. <laughs> Now the more mod you get, the faster that yeah, yeah, that pulse goes. You hear how metallic that click allows that to become? So I'm dialing this back. Listen, this is all the way down. almost get kind of a Fender road sound. But watch this and put that click way up here on three o'clock. It is super metallic sounding, very cool. Yeah, like that a lot. Um, let's move over here to the C9. Let's take a look at this. Now we're going to do the same thing here. We're going to keep the dry back and the organ up and we're going to look at some of these cool settings. Now I really like in setting number one here, tone wheel. This is again like a really fat full sound in Hammond B3 organ. So. Sometimes I have noticed that with these pedals, now granted they're pushing a lot of different sounds out at the same time, sometimes it's not going to be as articulate if you go to play really fast line. It just kind of gets jumbled up. You can hear that. So you might want to think about that as you do phrasing with it. You're not going to be able to just fly on these and get it to really articulate. I, don't, I mean it, this is a small problem, you know, it's not that big a deal. Um, so, let's keep going here. The, the ones that I love on this, look, check this out. Number three. Number three says compact. Now what this is supposed to emulate is the 60's compact organ. Much like the Vox Continental that came out, that the, that the doors and the animals and all that. There's other compact organs out there also that made just as big a splash. There's the Yamaha YC30, there's the Gibson G101, there's, uh, there were, actually there were several more. but to help me out on this, I'm feeling like crying, guys. And I think I'm going to cry me. You write 96 tears. That setting is almost uncanny. 
Now, that was a 1969 Yamaha YC30, and that was this C9 organ machine set on the compact setting. That's pretty doggone close, guys. That's pretty doggone close. I like that a lot. Let's keep trucking here. If I go down to number five, now, number five says Lord Purple. Now, what in the world does Lord Purple mean? John Lord from Deep Purple, the most classic organ sound in the world. Now, I'm going to use the assistance of the fat and full sound on the B9, and then we're going to go to the C9 on the Lord Purple setting and hear what those sound like against an actual Hammond B3 organ. Let's check this out. Okay, so you can see, I mean, obviously, it's, it's a little unfair to actually compare a, a true Hammond B3, but you can see these things are actually pretty doggone close. And you could really pass this off live as a really cool effect and a really cool gimmick that would be a good crowd pleaser. I know that when I use it live, people always go, what's that? You know, they always get that look. How's he doing that? I just tell them, listen, I'm just that good. Sorry. I don't tell them it's electroharmonics fault. Yep, so let's keep trucking. Look here. So we go down one more setting to number six. I'm going to dial this mod back almost all the way and leave my click about at 12 o'clock. Check this out. This is called Mellow Flutes. See if you recognize. Wait a minute. I know what that is. What's that? Sounds pretty good. Let me take you now. Look at that. That's an excellent Mellotron sound you can get off this. Very cool sound. And it's better than, you can do other things than Strawberry Fields, but you know that has to be the go-to. Very convincing. Unfortunately, I'm fresh out of Mellotrons at the moment, so I can't compare it against the real one. But you can listen to Strawberry Fields forever and use your own ear. Very good. All right, so moving down to number eight, it's called Press Tone. Press Tone, I can only imagine, is code for Preston, which of course is Billy Preston. Very cool sound you're going to get out of this. Another kind of funky, gospel y kind of organ sound. Let's put the mod on 12. Let's just start at 12 o'clock and see what we run into. So I know I didn't have time to go through every setting. If I did that, we'd be here for another couple hours. But I think suffice to say, you can see against the real deal keyboards, they hold up really, really well. And it's a really cool thing considering you don't have to go around and lug around a, an elephant, basically. You can just pack up your guitar and get close to the same sound out of a little box. 
So the guys are on the cutting edge over there. Uh, the POG2, you can actually get some of these sounds on the POG2 as well. And I think a lot of it's just, like I said, overtone and octave manipulation to get you the sound. Certain amount of sustain, certain amount of modulation added in there. And it gets you a really close organ tone. Overall, I highly recommend them. They're super fun. Um, especially if you're doing the things that I'm doing, like with a one-man band, you need to add layers. Now, a lot of you guys out there can probably find really creative ways to use them that are not as cut and dry as, okay, I'm going to use the organ machine to be an organ sound. All right, so shoot me some comments below. Tell me how you use the organ machine. Tell me if you like the B9 or the C9 better. I don't know. It's up for debate there, guys. I'm not really sold yet. I'm trying to decide myself. So, enjoy doing this. Enjoy putting this together. I hope you liked it. Shoot me some comments below. Don't forget to subscribe. We'll see you next time when we do another review. Hey, y'all. Thanks for hanging out. Hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe. You can also follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. See you next time.